My name is James Stevens, I'm a wildlife filmmaker, and to celebrate World Wetland Day, the Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust have tasked me with finding as many species of wetland animals as I can in just two days. Challenge accepted. Wetlands provide a vital role for people and planet, but we are losing this habitat three times faster than our forests. World Wetland Day aims to raise awareness and celebrate just how special they are. For my challenge, I have come to Welford Pools. Once used as a gravel pit, it is now a freshwater haven for wildlife. For an animal to count on my list, I must capture it on camera. Right, so what have we got then? Tufted duck straight away. Quite a common bird, but with an amazing hairdo. Loads of gadwall as well. A rather nondescript bird, but have an identifiable white diamond spot of their speculum. That's a group of something really far out, but I can't see what. Oh, it's teal. Our smallest native duck. We get loads of them wintering in the UK. A lovely bird. Wetlands are important for so many different reasons. They sequester carbon, they reduce flood risk downstream, and of course they're an amazing place for wildlife. We often only associate wetlands with wetland birds like ducks and waders, but in the edges and in the trees and in the reeds, you get loads of different other species as well. Just now I had a long-tailed tit and they're pretty difficult to film, but I've got my smug face on because I did manage to get quite a nice shot. Just as the sun started to set, I saw something extra special. A kingfisher. An icon of UK waters. The sun is going down, we're losing the light, but it's been a good day. We've seen lots of wildlife, but it's still tomorrow. The challenge isn't over yet. Yesterday, I got a good number of species in the hide, but there are so many hidden corners that today, I'm going to be mobile. Cormorants. Excellent at fishing, but weirdly, their feathers aren't waterproof, so you often see them perching and drying off. Goosander. A stunning bird with a long, serrated bill, allowing them to grasp onto slippery prey. Shoveler. They have a unique spatulate bill used to filter its food. We've got a buzzard somewhere. Where is it? That'd be a good one to have. Oh yes, there it is. Oh, three crows, one buzzard, that's not fair. Gone. Yeah. So just out in the middle of the lake, two great crested greaves. They're doing their own thing at the moment. But they're just moving a bit close together. I wonder. And before long, they started to do this. This is something I've never seen before. Two great crested greaves dancing together by mimicking and mirroring each other's moves. Soon they'll be doing their proper big dance, their proper display. Love it. I do love wetlands, 
the perfect place to come and reconnect with nature. The tranquility of the water, the glistening of sunlight on the surface, and the avian orchestra of birds calling. I've loved the past couple of days just to be able to come out and just film anything and everything. And wetlands certainly have a lot to offer throughout all of the seasons. Overall, I caught 24 species on camera, with many more passing by. A testament to how diverse wetlands are.